On the night of March 20th, there was a drone attack on the Engels airfield located in the Saratov region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. The governor of the province said that the anti-aircraft defense system was activated and Ukrainian drones were shot down, and there were no casualties as a result of the incident. Local residents say that explosions took place in several places. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, for drones were shot down over the Saratov region, IT should be noted that Engels airfield is home to strategic bombers that launch missile strikes on Ukraine, IT should be recalled that there was a drone attack on the Engels Air Base in December 2022. As a result, six soldiers died, two planes were damaged. All Russian soldiers in Ukraine eligible to vote for Putin, dead or alive. A new legislation has simplified the document requirements and allowed Russian soldiers fighting in Ukraine to cast their vote in the Russian presidential election without even showing their faces, meaning those deceased might still be eligible for voting. The Kyiv Post media outlet reported this. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine said the latest instructions from the main military political directorate of the Russian armed forces meant that Russian military personnel deployed to Ukraine no longer require a passport or military ID to vote and even a photocopy will suffice. They are also not required to be physically present at the polling stations. The order is likely issued internally within the Russian military. The Kyiv Post says other Russians can also vote online using Russia's electronic voting system, though some form of electronic identity verification is still required. However, this system is reportedly not being used by the Russian military. Russians also began to complain about technical issues with the electronic voting system today. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine believed the new changes in the Russian military would make it easier for Russian authorities to falsify the results and increase votes for Putin by adding the votes of those who recently died, went missing or were captured. 
It is obvious that in this way, the Russian election commissions will try to increase the number of Putin's voters by attracting the so-called dead souls to the voting, in particular to the number of people who voted along with existing military personnel. They plan to add also those who recently died, went missing or were captured, read the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine press release. The Defense Intelligence also said the official Russian casualty rate could mean a lot more votes for Putin and questioned the legitimacy of the elections. The Kremlin is carrying out a whole set of measures for the fictitious holding of the so-called elections of the President of the Russian Federation. Although it is obvious to everyone that neither the very fact of these elections nor their results are a means of legitimizing Putin's rule either in Russia or abroad, the announcement read.